Hey everybody, it's Coach. And this is Coach. This is Coach Cast TV. And uh, today <laughs> we are doing more Black Sabbath. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, been away from the band for a few weeks and uh, it is time to get back in the saddle, so to speak. Okay. And uh, this band has impressed us mm -hmm. pretty much every time we've listened to them. Uh, they're very diverse. Yes. And I have not been at all what we expected. Yeah. You haven't been disappointed. Or disappointed. With them. Yes. And we were told that this should be the next one we do. Uh, well, actually, it was between this one and, and one other, and I decided to do this one. Okay. Uh, the other one was Fairies Wear Boots. <laughs> true. It's true. Uh, and we'll uh, probably... Fairies don't wear boots. They are barefooted. Well, these fairies do. So anyway, uh, let us know, by the way, if we should do that one, uh, because just for the the uh, title alone, I'm tempted to do it. But uh, this one, somebody said this might be sort of like a love song. Uh, uh, we know nothing about it. So if that's not correct, don't blame me. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be right back with N.I.B. from Black Sabbath. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to do the lyric video because those are important. Okay. interesting are you sure it's a love song i know that the viewers have said, no i'm not sure well the viewers said that they were very religious so i'm wondering if this is more leaning to toward this side i was of, thinking that when i was yeah, listening to it because i was like this doesn't sound like your typical love song well i don't know what nib stands for either uh so maybe we'll find out as the song progresses yep. but first i would like to say that this has a really good beat mm -hmm. uh, i like it it's fun to listen to and as usual with black sabbath uh, i'm sure there's a deeper meaning than what's on the surface yeah. so we'll continue and okay. see if we can figure it out all right Oh! 
So that was a curveball. Yeah. Um, but b- it is but, a religious based. Yeah, and uh, the or viewers faith based. Let me take that back. The, the viewers have told us that a lot of their songs are warning yep. songs, which uh, I can see that with this song. Yeah, so maybe this is a warning mm-hmm. song. Mm-hmm. Uh, but th- I definitely don't think this is a love song in the traditional <laughs> sense uh, when you think no. of a love song. Uh, very interesting. Yep. Uh, and, and definitely good. And Bill Ward, the drummer, he has stood out every single time we listen to this group. I'll say that guitar solo. Is oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he is fantastic, too. They're all fantastic. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying that this guy beats the tarnation out of these drums and uh if you were doing an all-star group uh there's too many to choose to i know but i'm telling you bill ward would get a lot of votes for best drummer because he is fantastic there's several of them the drummer from queen and all of them you just yeah and and we don't compare all i'm saying is that he has Mm -hmm. to be one of the best he, he has he's to really be. good. He is truly great. Unexpected. Yes. Uh, as usual, and and a great Gr- jam, yeah. mm-hmm. by the way. The guitar solo 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 was great. Yeah, uh, it was fantastic, yeah. and that's an interesting song. That uh, surely the, the uh, there's got to be a very to very it. astute Coach Cast TV viewers mm-hmm. should be able to tell us the meaning behind this one. Yeah, uh, I can see. Why, if someone simply picked up a uh, list of the lyrics, Mm -hmm. that they would come to perhaps the wrong conclusion Mm -hmm. on this one. Don't judge a book by its cover. Right. And again, we know, because we've uh, already been educated a lot Mm -hmm. by the viewers, that they sang a lot of songs that were warnings. Yeah. Um, And so I'm wondering if this falls in that category. I can see that with them. I can. I may be wrong, but I don't yep. think so. Uh, the, the the whole group is exceptionally talented. Yes. Um, they go very well together. 
Yeah. The, Ozzy's voice is just, he's got a unique sound. You can pick him out of anything. Yeah, yeah. You, you can't mistake his voice. And I know, uh, based on what I've read, that there have been uh, other lead singers for Black Sabbath after Ozzy left. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I know eventually we'll probably need to listen to some. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, it's, it's one of those situations where once you kind of get used to a singer... Uh, you really don't want mm-hmm. to um, to hear. I really don't want to hear anybody but Ozzy at the moment because I really like how he sounds with this group. Mm-hmm. Um, and since we've uh, kind of stuck with a lot of the early Black yeah. Sabbath, um, you know that that's just kind of what's hooked us. But mm-hmm. I know that at some point we'll have to uh, listen to some with some other singers. Well, just like with ACDC, right? With uh, Bon Scott and uh, Brian Johnson. The, the band can do a change and it'd be a good change. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, you know, we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but we're having fun with some early yeah. uh, Black Sabbath. And, They're continuing to surprise me. Yeah. I, cool. so give us the lowdown on this I one. I want to know the lowdown on and this I one. And I want to know what NIB stands for. Uh, one can only guess. I have no idea. So, anyway, uh, let us know. It's good to hear some more Black Sabbath, as always. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Please throw a thumbs up on the video. And make sure before you leave here that you are subscribed to the channel. And ring that bell. And we'll see you on the next episode of CoachCast TV. Mm